think everyone's preparing us for uh, not I think so four months that this kind of uh, We'll have uh, five minutes to ask questions, um, and uh, the chair recognizes himself for the next uh, five minute period. Uh, I'm Secretary Kahn, the uh, Director of Mark Spirit at the hearing, and um, one of the concerns that uh, I expressed that I was hoping that y'all would make some substantial progress on this uh, was um, having a defensible way of providing priorities for investing in. Research efforts uh, become funding priorities because we have this fiscal year, although for the public FYO9, uh, biological and nuclear research uh, uh, received a lot of funding uh, at high priority uh, over other important areas uh, such as explosives, which have been a uh, commonly used um, device in terrorism, uh, both in cybersecurity and there are of both government and private sector computers, uh, other infrastructure issues. Uh, what we discussed a year ago was whether there should be a system of formal risk analysis, uh, informal risk analysis, or what other methodologies to determine research priorities. Um, and uh, I'd like to know whether uh, we have undergone those processes to set your budget priorities, because there are other President cares about some of these things and not about others. Uh, so I'd like to know if uh, you are performing um, risk analyses over on society and economic damage, uh, human threats, or whether it's a bullet on the whole email coming from the White House and the Vice President's office that set these research priorities. It's not a good thing that the president came up with the idea of the summer in 2006 and the new year had been there since the start of the year when the U.S. crew who appeared in the day of the research of the year. About one third of the country, not by the way, of course, was going to nuclear radioactivity. About one third was going to be bombed. And about one third was going to carry bombs. And I don't know what the basis for that is, but when the administration of Congress said that what we was that had been sent down to the Infrastructure protection director has 17 critical infrastructure protection areas, and they have done the detailed analysis of society and the economic impact of uh, low probability of occurrence and high consequence events, and that which we have been on the West Coast. And so it is a work in progress. Following uh, our discussions last year, Determine the science of the 
this important decision that we made. Just like if we're going to go to the battle of the planet, strategic bombing, you know, one of the science of Operation Eastern Drop, which is the ISIS. And it's quite an attempt to undermine the Medusa in a very big way. We have actually on our table today for this meeting sets our ships out of the environment. But it's not the history of probabilistic reports. What we don't have is a real understanding of what bad people want to intentionally do bad things to hurt the people, societies, communities, railroads, water systems, etc. Now, in my area, and I salute Dr. John Bingo, Mark Kent, and I here, they took this on with looking at 30 major threats. And I'm not going to give one of them to you, some of them to Montreal, etc. And they took the probability of occurrence. This predates us all. Zero to one, very small number. And they took the consequence of occurrence of a pandemic. Millions dead, billions lost. And by the time you get to the day and night, they still give you a bad. But when we stress that number, it does all three of these strategies. They found that the variability was plus or minus an order of magnitude. What does that mean? It means the answer to the problem. If it was 10, if the number was 10, the answer was 1 to 100. That's a span that's very difficult for us to decide how it affects. But the surprise to me, and that's why I wanted to write this history, is that each one of the 30 answers had that variability. We saw clusters. We actually saw high-risk cluster, medium-risk, and low-risk cluster. So this is a work in progress. It's not going to be solved this year. It may not be solved this decade. But I think working together, these are not both sides of the board. Those are not both sides of the board. I, I mean, I can make a joke about the vice president and I'm a member of the administration, so I won't. But I did want to share this with you. This is Jake Kelly's view of what happened in our end. It's the likelihood of occurrence versus the consequence of occurrence. Lower, higher, lower, higher. You'll notice I have neutral here. Off the page on the right. The consequence of occurrence could be devastating. But today you have to buy the steel and iron together. I'm not an oil glass to make that happen. But you'll notice suddenly the probability of occurrence and the consequence is the highest because it's happening to you and I right now. Someone's buying the steel and iron together as well as all the other issues that are going on. Now you can agree or disagree with our position as PowerPoint. You can make them away. But this is one of the operative natural factors that tell you we're going to find it. As I look at my six divisions and I look at my 12 capstone grant documents and where should we should invest for the customer, I don't generate requirements. My customer wants the economies of the administration does. I provide solution opportunities. And when I think that we're investing too much in Kent behind our bottleneck and sock, I go to what we call the technology oversight group. And the department that is the deputy secretary, the undersecretary for management, and the undersecretary for commercial preparedness and recovery. They get to vote. I make proposals on how we should move money in the budget generation process. And the components they get to make their requirement go from 10 to 15 and somewhere else. So we have a federal process that now is a year old with just one group of talent, technology executive, who will make adjustments for the upfront tech budget that I think are consistent with what we said. So with that, I'll end here. Dan? Well, I'm not just my question. I think we have to start with uh, the great Mark's going to rush in. But uh, I'd like to give you an opportunity to answer that question also. Uh, you know, I, uh, uh, Secretary Clark, uh, you know, perhaps uh, uh, last night, Twitter starts uh, a big blue map, uh, which is the mechanisms uh, that are actually used uh, to uh, connect the assessments of uh, the you know, budget priorities uh, across uh, the demands of the Delta Force to understand you know, what it is that the developer can actually confidence in that. Uh, and, and I'd very much like to have confidence in that from Greg Robson. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Started with the aftermath of 9 11. I think we started working on other things that were relevant to the most of the country. But this 
person that goes around to the point of spray on hope and say, well, we need to get speed figures to help us come up with a ground that is on the wrong thing. But that thought works if there is a serious trip of any kind of the way that it could have been in the other kind of place where they just spray on the whole time. Supports my idea that there is a small time to launch the rocket into the Earth and the mission process to make sure that they're right for us to take that planet down. We had another point in time that we were able to test this in 
so I would respectfully request that you reconsider um, this requirement and take it away. Maybe the right answer is two years. Maybe the right answer is zero years. 
So when we have a world class rising team, rising super, some of which are broken up, and I pay for it. But what I inherited is a system that I put money on God and justified the expenditure to pay that. So I apologize for this. Again. I get there's no right to pay for this. There's no paying me. I don't care. I, I, I apologize for that. And I, I appreciate that clarification. I'm not so quick to me. I just want to share it because I just posted it. Secretary, it's my understanding that um, in terms of staffing, you know, there's still that need of the one face of the order, and that is becoming quite an issue because the one face does not necessarily have the expertise, and particularly the agricultural uh, requirements. And so I'm not at this meeting because I've, I've extended my time, and as a freshman, my red light is on, so I've got to stop. So I would just ask that you could prepare for this committee. A better understanding of where we are because I'm hearing that there are concerns in the field with that issue, uh, that the expertise is not there, particularly on the agricultural end. And given the fact that I do represent you know, the largest area of the nation, it's a great concern for us. Thank you very much. I, I, I thank the gentleman um, for being a candid guy and his red light is still there. Um, but um, I, I really appreciate the gentleman's um, passion about pursuing issues. Service and the Admiral Vice Admiral. We are now bound to love our friends, and uh, it is a strength of the people to have completely different perspectives to make sure that our society can capture all of it that it's got to achieve the way we can uh, for these very challenging times. Uh, the, the chairman who recognized himself, uh, just a quick round of touch with Connie, I don't think she uh, got the last word down. That was, um, and um, uh, uh, perhaps we, at a staff level, we can circle back around um, to see whether that, where, where the gap is. But I'd like to think again, um, because as soon as this effort stands, um, the resources that are allocated there are not allocated the same to that level, which is a different solution um, to uh, the problems that we will try to address. And I'll hold uh, the resources that are going to address them are not. Society and we need to talk to uh, the thinking to deal with life. Uh, I'd like to uh, shift to a, a, a different ground, which is the integrated product fees and ITs that the undersecretary has, um, uh, has implemented uh, with, with, with some success. And this is a question directly uh, dealing, I think, at, at all three of our campuses here. Um, this, the, the, my, my understanding is that there has been success in um, bringing the ITs together. Addressing some of the concerns that different parts of DHS has um, about uh, uh, the technologies that we're working on. Um, the, the, I have a concern by the way that the IPT process uh, reaches out from fire uh, into the testing process uh, in, in, to, into the end user community so that their concerns um, about validation first. Using these products um, in operational in an operational environment and maintaining them in an operational environment uh, is reflected in the IPT process that we are uh, you know, starting to search and uh, development phase. I would be a very succinct uh, answer. Uh, my concern is the technical issue, and that is uh, the principle of having being well and also deciding where she takes possible money to second this reason to just do the revenue. For the Department of Homeland Security, a job I worked hard to do, and it's at a time when I have been standing in line for six years in the Department of Ed, much larger budget, and I characterized testifying instruments that I could learn on the job, and it must be independent and be useful. In essence, I get to take risks that will only compete with millions, both in intelligence, the people power, 
build this in our position groups. Because that position is actually listed by the state as an industry and as a product. And so the integrated product team has been a very good step forward for many of us as we work with them to accelerate. With their capability apps, they don't tell you the technology that goes in them. They tell you what their high priority mission needs are. But I work with them solutions, universities, libraries, U.S., international, where whatever preferred solution from a provider is given to me, I feel technology readiness assessment, as I'm not going to buy a new job, and if it is, it's not my flight of these days. I'm going to say secondary employee, that needs to be listed by a part of the HIS. Right. And the question is whether they reach or not sufficiently to say uh, to the fire department of your And the short answer is I need to do a better job because the way we hold this legislation in terms of the needs of my customers, but also the first responders, fish and shopping, local and so in the integrated product team, you'll see on the bottom of each of the diagrams is the user. The user may be a region. The user may be a first responder. I just asked Rob in advance to the, the challenge that I have. I'm like DOD, where I just say the leads and sales. I now have the customer and the customer and the customer. And so we have different transition points that go to first responders, go to agents, and so on. It was my intent in August of 06, as I put in place the organization of the tool and finally drafted the tool, to have in my interagency and international liaison so we can prepare for any other component of government that is needed and for international partners to also have first responder liaison. And because I am the deputy sheriff in that area and have to deal with inmates in the police department, I can't handle that scale. But I can deal with the paternal order of police chiefs and the fire chiefs. They understand the scale of things. And so I wanted to have that capability. I was advised that the cost to the department was taken over because the department had an outage and because the first responders had indicated they felt there were too many moving parts for DHS. And it was confusing that I needed to deal internally to get those inputs. I think I may have taken that too far. And that's why, in, in, in as it just said, September Chief of Richardson's district in January of the D.C. California, we had the first responder outreach conference. Several hundred first responders, the mayor, the mayor of uh, Los Angeles, participated to say, to do exactly what you said. But I've got to formalize how I bring them to the table, not just in the requirements generation is satisfactory, but also the George is you in the Navy. We don't allow contractors to load leases onto the plane. We need a fleet sailors because at the end of the day, they are going to be loading the plane, and we'll figure out what will be that day, and we can get this yes. I have about uh, thirty minutes left, five minutes left. Yeah, Mr. Ryan, if you could address some of the testing components of this. Uh, I was in Eastern Kentucky. I worked with both Somerset and some of the 
and now I can try to I can manage every blessing of God. So I don't want to ask for that money. I am using uh, the, the, the definition for not only being the right definition and truth of the word of God, but it's universally what I've enjoyed the most unfair and wrong term of the great work of the individual stamped with the imprint of all of his presence. And I don't have a point right to do so many other questions. Thank you very much. In fact, this day is good.